In this unit, we're going to use simple harmonic oscillators to illustrate two important concepts for the rest of the class. The first one is superposition. So let's draw our mass on a spring. And remember, our equation of motion was x double dot plus k over mx equals 0. And you know when you see that, that the solutions are oscillators. But really, there's more than one solution. You could say x1 is some amplitude 1 um, cosine of omega naught t plus some phase. Right? We know that omega naught is set by the system, but we know the amplitude and the phase are arbitrary. But you could also have some other solution with a different amplitude and a different phase. Maybe you pushed it harder. Maybe you change when you define time to be 0. So those are both perfectly fine solutions. You could have another solution, x3. You could go on and on. You could have many different solutions to the mass in a spring because there can be many different kinds of motion. So what we want to do is say superposition is the idea that the sum of two solutions to an equation of motion is also a solution. Now this is one of my simple definitions that applies directly to our problem. It can be something much more broad than that. But it basically just says the sum of two solutions is also a solution if the equation of motion is linear. This is one reason we really, really want to have linear equation of motion, equations of motion and why we worked so hard to linearize them in the previous unit. So what this is saying is if these are all solutions, then x1, you could call it x1 plus 2, which equals x1 plus x2 is also considered a solution if the equation of motion is linear. And let's be clear what we mean by linear. We do not mean y equals mx plus b. Um, we mean, by we I mean the establishment, we mean that x and all its derivatives are to the first power. They are linear. And you can see that's true. Here's a derivative of x, the second derivative with respect to time, x double dot, but it's linear. It's not squared. It's not square rooted. It's not e to the x double dot. It's just x double dot. And here's x all by itself, and it's also linear to the first power. So it really just means all the x's, all the independent variables, and their derivatives are linear. And if that's true, then this is true. 